Welcome to our sailing channel, Sailing Indiana. I'm Lauren and this is Chris. And this is our beautiful home, Indiana. We don't know much about sailing, but for the last two years, we've jumped feet first into a life on the water. So here's to adventure. Here's to sailing around the world. To a life less ordinary, to whatever tomorrow brings. Welcome aboard. Welcome to another episode of Sailing Indiana. Last time you saw us, we were on a mooring ball in the Helford River, waiting out some windy weather. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, first time. All right, Lauren. I nailed it. Oh, you got that on camera. This week, we leave the boat in the Helford River and we head back to Falmouth Marina. We're going to collect a parcel that will make our remote working lives a lot easier. In this episode, we are going to answer a question we get asked quite a lot, and that is, how do you work remotely from a sailboat? It's not without its difficulties and isn't your average work from home setup, but we think we've found a pretty good solution. So where do we sit? We are pretty fortunate that we've got quite a large saloon table. So we are usually found sitting opposite each other and yeah, we've got enough space for two laptops and all the things that we need, yeah, right here in the saloon. It works well up until we both have like a scheduled call or Teams call, which is quite funny at the same time. So someone's got to draw the short straw there and sit in the aft cabin or sit yep. somewhere else. Other than that, it's it's pretty good, actually. We are our own work colleagues, I suppose, exactly. even though we work for different companies. We've still not killed each other yet, so it's good. That's true. Not yet. <laughs> So first of all, we want to burst the illusion that we are just full-time travellers who are sailing around the world and enjoying themselves without having to work. Not true. That would be lovely. It would but be no. nice. One day, maybe. We both have full-time jobs and we are now both fully remote in those positions, which is something we've been working towards for the last two years. And it's why we didn't buy a sailboat two years ago and just set off for the Bahamas. First and foremost, yes, we work full-time jobs as well as create content for YouTube. It's very busy. It's a busy schedule. It's a busy schedule, yeah. So another question we get asked probably the most actually is how do you get Wi-Fi? Probably the most by our bosses. <laughs> yeah, how do you have Wi-Fi and are you available at 9 to 5? Up until recently, we were using this lovely little device, which is called a TP-Link. It works basically off of a SIM card, so any old SIM card works within there and it omits a 4G like Wi-Fi, which works really well, except when you are in certain areas like Cornwall, which is yeah. not so good for phone signals, so, or like up the Helford River. So in the interest of keeping our jobs and yep. being able to be connected to the Wi-Fi during work hours, we've decided to make an investment. Cue the mystery package that arrived in Falmouth Marina. Da. This is the base, cool. it's pretty sturdy, metal, mm. and this oh, is the dish. Huge. <laughs> These are the instructions, so that's literally it. <laughs> is that's that it? Yeah. Easy as that? <laughs> okay. This, this is the router, let's put that there for now. Look how much lead you get with that. Oh my god. So, very exciting, isn't it? I do. <laughs> Let's see. So we thought we'd just interrupt there and let you know, for those who aren't in the know, 
what Starlink actually is and what we're going on about in this video. According to the Starlink's website, News uh, just in. <laughs> news just in. Starlink is the first commercially available phased array antenna. Your Starlink kit arrives with everything you need to get online in minutes, including your Starlink Wi Fi router, cables, and base. It's self orientating and connects in minutes as long as it has a clear view of the sky. So that's the. That's the synopsis. Website. So it's in layman terms, I suppose. It's really a satellite dish that is going to pick up a Wi-Fi signal that is being beamed down from a satellite. So there's hundreds of satellites that have been put up in the sky by Starlink. Eventually they will cover the whole or, or allow coverage for the whole of the Earth. So it means that we could be in the middle of the Atlantic and we could still make a Zoom call. It means that we could be in the middle of the Atlantic and call for help when we need it just by we won't need it. picking up the phone, sending a WhatsApp message. It's, yeah, it's really life-changing, not just for people who sail boats recreationally around the world, but imagine the, you know, the applications for countries that weren't able to get Wi-Fi before. Yeah, really just kind of upping the, the world's connectivity in a, in a massive way. So we are setting up the Starlink and the reason we're doing it in this location, which is the, um, there's a little bar restaurant called the Upper Deck at um, Falmouth Marina is because uh, this got delivered here. And I think with the RV version, you have to put in a sort of home location first and you need to set it up in that location to begin with, or at least that's what we've been told. So yeah, we came back here. The boat's actually in the Helford River at the moment on a mooring ball. We had to come back here to pick it up, uh, pick the Starlink up anyway. So now we're, um, yeah, we're setting it up here first just in case there is a glitch that we take it back to Helford and they're like, oh, this isn't your home address. But it's done a thing. It says that there's enough room or there's enough sky for it to see in order to get a connection. So I've heard that this can take you know, up to half an hour. So we'll see, but we'll see if it's working. But exciting times. Estimated obstructions. This is a decent spot for your Starlink. Join the network, join Starlink network. It may take 30 seconds to appear. Uh, Wi-Fi. Here we go, let's have a look. Enter Wi-Fi network name, enter password. Starlink network create. Okay, let's start something else then. Indiana, it should just come up saying in Indiana. Oh, there you go, Indiana link. Here we go then. Is that it? Are we, are we online? Let's go back to this. Somebody skateboarding. Saying online and it's saying offline, so we'll see. But otherwise, we are up and running, so I think that was all that was needed to do while we were here. And now we can take it back to the boat and um, try and set it up again on there. Yeah, you see, it's gone offline now, searching. Um, now it's online again, so maybe it's just no signal received offline. So, yeah, it's doing a little bit of this, which is interesting. really so it's um maybe that's enough for just now we, we start again we'll right back there all right we've got the starlink little router here um plugged in around there and then the cable working its way back and up out to the dishy and the dishy out there but we haven't set it up yet or anything so yeah about to switch it on and see what happens see how much amps it draws as well oh like point one <laughs> yeah so maybe temporarily just rigging it up here um we're gonna put it on the flatter coach roof but i didn't want the boom to impede its view i'm just putting put the lines over the base stop it blowing away and just got a little bit of safety string, I suppose, in case it does fancy blowing off, because it is the wind is picking up today to about 30 knot gusts or something. So, but we're about to switch it on. Oh no, off it goes. <laughs> it's just decided to do that itself. So, okay. All right, it's finding its position. It's made itself flat, so that is a uh, yeah. See, so it's counteracted its own gradient, I suppose, incline. 
and it's now flat. So I'm just going to use the app and see if we can get it online. All right, 30 knots of wind blowing through. Got dishy dash down there, but also got a little um, clip on it as well because we don't want to uh, go it to blow away. But Okay. Right, this she's up and running. We're online, and let me just try and. So we've got online speed test. Sitting in the middle of the Helford River. The internet is booming. So yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. So there are a couple of versions available at the moment, and this is the RV version that we've got, or at least the RV subscription. So it means that we're allowed to take it on the move with us. There are home-based versions, which if you've got a cabin in the woods remotely and you want Wi-Fi, that that would be perfect for. And there's also a marine-specific version, which is effectively for super yachts, because it's about £5,000 a month for the subscription and £10,000 for the dish. So it's... Um, yeah, different, different league, different level. But they've just brought out a new dish as well, which is a flat mounted dish. And ours is the older version that is the movable one on the, on the sort of tripod or the quad pod. It's got four legs. Yeah, so we've got that one, but actually it's gonna work exactly the same as one of the newer ones, but I'm sure then eventually they'll keep upgrading and updating it. So the key question is, how much does it cost? It's not cheap but it's affordable. So it's, we paid, I think, nearly 500 pounds for the setup, for the box. Yeah. And we pay a subscription every month, which is like your normal Wi-Fi subscription. It's probably about 90 to 100 pounds at the moment. Mm. So it's probably about double the amount uh, that your usual home Wi-Fi setup would be, but it's not your usual home Wi-Fi setup. No. Exactly. So it's, going to allow us to be remote it's going to allow us to find little anchorages where no one is hanging out because they haven't got wi-fi there and we can just rock up and yeah connect to our starlink but it's got so many sort of benefits for us that it's well worth it and so i think money well spent for us but maybe you can give us your opinion on that let us know if you are also using Starlink, if you have any pros and cons, or if you just have any questions for us in terms of how to use it and what it's like, etc. Just pop them in the comments and let us know. Hello. Hello. What are we up to? We are heading back to the boat. We just went ashore to the Helford Sailing Club to have a shower, which was literally the best thing in the whole world. I used two shower tokens and had a 16 minute shower. <laughs> and I'm quite even mad about it. Um, I had a very nice time and a very good fish. dinner. And now we're just heading back to the boat for, I reckon, the hot chocolate and then maybe or something and just get to bed. Yeah, I reckon so. It's really chilly now as well. Like that, like summer <laughs> weather has gone. Oh, another, another thingy. <laughs> On it, no, right? no, I, could, I just saw some little um, things popping up. <laughs> oh, a little bit awake from that thingy there. I was just looking and I thought I saw some little like fishes jumping up, so I thought I'd come a bit wider out because I didn't know if it was a little like fish school or something. I don't know. <sighs> Who knows? Say 
gonna make you